the committee never actually met again to, to discuss it. So what was your recommendation and they ended up buying Well, <laughs> we recommended zero. The committee did. For what reason? Well, it's, it's not costing the, you know, the, the uh, fund any more dollars, whether there's where these extra people are on the insurance, you know, or not. But they're getting a lot more benefit. Right. And, and I think there was some thought after that initial thing that, that well, maybe we should have thought this through a little further. And, cause yeah, it, was sort of, you know, it was sort of brought to us by Robin in the spur of the moment, Kyle was. <laughs> Gee, we understand what <laughs> 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 Well, uh, Thanks, Joe. You just said you that. Know, you can't ignore... <laughs> Yeah, they made a ruling, and you know, if you don't do anything, you, you made no attempt to comply with this new ruling, which I, I don't know if I, I want to. Yeah, it, you know, I don't you know. want to take all that kind of approach. To and I think that's why Judy said, "Hey, we need to do something." And so, when the board talked about it again, I happened to be in there, and so with Robin, we're two of the people on the on the committee, and, and like I told them, I said, "I think you know, you got to." They were concerned too about not doing anything, and you know what would the you know IRS said say, but yet the IRS doesn't give you much guidance. <laughs> That's the worst on on what to do. And so, I mean, my comment to them was, well, have you got some idea where you want this number to come up with, and then come up with a formula to get get you there. And I mean, I think if you've got some kind of system on how you did it. It, that's what they, was said. If you can justify the amount you're taking out, you know, when the IRS comes knocking at yeah. your door, that's all they really care about because they have no, they have no formula themselves. No, the other part of the thing, the discussion they got into was, well, when do we make this effective? And they finally decided <coughs> to not make it effective till January 1st. But they were not, <coughs> they were not going to go back and add any amount to the W-2s for the Previous last year. year. Mm -hmm. Because it's sort of like changing the rule, it's sort of like changing the rules after everything's done. Yeah. If the employee would have known that he was going to be... He could have made a decision. They could have done something else, or they might have done something else. Yeah. And all of our the two employees are, are well aware of what's going to happen. And what they kind of want me to do is, once the, the amount is decided on, to run their paycheck, see how much it's going to cost, them, and then they may make a, another decision. Which, that is easy enough to do. I mean, I can run a, a register form and let them know, but it's, I need an amount to do this. The, I think it was just a year ago that, that the government came up and said that, that you have to include those, those uh, from the age of 19 to 25, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then that's the last we heard of it. And well, that was actually in July, wasn't it? When they supposed to start? Well, it was supposed to, yeah. It, it did, but, uh, but they were working on it in mm -hmm. advance of that. Mm -hmm. and, and we got in on coming. Well, when our, when our Walmart people came, mm -hmm. they said, well, this is a change. It's not changing your rate, but we are now required uh, to, to cover those if, if they're in the household up to the age of 25. But there was never any discussion about and the taxation, right. and now that's appeared. So, I mean, to me, the amount you want, that, you're, that you're paying for that family plan is no different than if there's, you know, two spouses and, and one child or two spouses and the only child. thing is you've got to, you know if the dependent is giving mm -hmm. is getting a lot of health care and driving your rates up, which I'm not saying anybody is, but you know, that's... Well, that's what we thought, I mean, Lisa, that's what I thought about, too, after we made that initial mm -hmm. thing to go zero. I'm thinking, well, gee, we're self-insured, and now we're going to want these... There's rich. still people you've got to cover that could drive up your costs. And if they could get it insured somewhere else, mm -hmm. maybe they would have already done that. Yeah. And so they're going to stay on if it's, especially if it's not costing them anything. Right. So, yeah, because I've got and then like, it's going to be a percentage. The actual dollar cost is going to be a percentage of that. Well, and you're still paying. You know, there's in one mm -hmm. case you could be paying a single, but you're paying the family because they have children and yeah. older children that are on the policy that wouldn't necessarily have to be on, and you'd be paying single rather than family. 
So, you know, I guess it, it, it's fair to tax them on it because they are getting a benefit. But it's going to cost you in your FICA match. You mean the 95 a month will have to pay FICA? You'll have to match it. Mm -hmm. The federal FICA yeah. and Medicare. Okay. Is, is what you, you have to match on this. The state is not, the, there's no state and there's no IPERS that come, you know, they won't be advancing their IPERS because of this, which I think. Which will be, what are those two rates at, at the $95, what, seven and? 7.65 and. Um, yeah, there's in the sixes, isn't it? Six point Seven five. I can't so remember the So we're going to be paying a match of, of that 7. against. Seven point six five. Is so about thirteen percent of the ninety five dollars. <clears throat> you know, if you guys want to think about this, talk about it, and come back and let me know. I can, I can do it all in one payroll if you can't get back to me by the 14th. I would appreciate it back by the 14th, but if not, that's fine. I, I would move that we, the insurance company meets the 12th. The, the insurance committee? committee. I would move that we table this until we get to read this document and then yeah. you have your discussion with the insurance. Okay, well I'll just take care of it on the 28th of the month then. Okay, and I'm sorry to drop that one like that, but just got to talking about it with this mm -hmm. new payroll program coming in. And so. Always something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always fun.